Hala hala wadau. Sasa mumeona wale malaya wale washoshu washoshu malaya wenye wamepoteza mwelekeo. Sasa hata sikupiga waliua huyo jamaa. Huyo jamaa wali, walimua na wakamkata sehemu yake ya siri. Sasa iko hivi. Sababu wamehakikisha wasichana wetu wenye wanafanya kazi golf, wasichana wetu wenye innocent wenye wanafanya kazi kwa bidii kulea, kulea familia na kulisha watoto wao, hawatakaa na amani, hawatafanya kazi na amani na sisi hatutawapea amani. Kimbo yoyote ambao ni malaya, kimbo yoyote ambao unauza pombe, we are coming for you. Atutawahurumia tutawe expose na si kuwa expose peke yake, tuta make sure mumechukuliwa hatua na mumehukumiwa kulingana na sheria. Atutasimama tuone wa Kenya innocent wakipelekwa jela kwa makosa hajafanya kwa sababu malaya waine wamejificha huku Manfuha wamejificha huku ya mama Saudi Arabia kwa hizo chochoro chochoro hizo ghetto za Saudi Arabia wasishikwe lakini msichana mkenya mwenye ako innocent aende jela kwa sababu yake hapana tunakubali makosa ilifanyika tunakubali kuna malaya wa Kenya waliua mtu lakini haimaanishi wa Kenya wale innocent wanafanya kazi Saudi Arabia wahukumiwe wa Kenya wale innocent wanafanya kazi Saudi Arabia waanze kudhulumiwa waanze kuwa mistreated wafanywe maovu yote kwa sababu ya malaya waine hapana nasikia ring leader wa hiyo kikosi anaitwa Farida Farida we are coming for you full force nasikia wewe umepanda pembe sana umekuwa mjeuri Farida tuna deal na wewe kichwa huyo mwingine Farida wa damam Eh aliua mwana kombo, ali west mwana kombo. Alimkemboisha akamwacha kwa nyumba ya kufi akaozea hapo akamchukua akamtupa kwa street. Tuko na evidence Farida wa Damam, wewe ndio ulisababisha kifo ya mwana kombo. Nani ajui? Lakini hawa kuchukuliwa tu. Tunataka serikali ya Kenya na embassy ya Saudi Arabia saa hizi wa deal na hawa makemboi. Tutowape majina na tunataka atuwe chukuliwe. Kuanzia huo Farida wa Damam, mwenye ali west mwana kombo, baka wa leo mwana kombo ajulikani mali alizikwa. Wali West mwana kombo. Hiyo Farida 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 kumaanina. Hatutakubali. Wasichana innocent wako na wasiwasi. Nimepigiwa simu na wasichana wengi kutoka jana. Wananiuliza kutenda aje. Wako na wasiwasi kwa sababu ya mtu alikataa kufanya kazi. Ametoka Kenya amekuja kujiuza, amezeeka, amekatika Santaboro takitembea utafikiria yako L. Ameamua mama mzee, mama mkongwe, malaya mshosho, ameamua kuharibia wa Kenya wengine amani, ameamua kuharibia wa Kenya wengine kazi. Amesababisha shida kubwa sana kwa Kenya. Enough is enough. Tumewanyamazia kwa muda mrefu. Toxic kemboi, toxic toxic dalalas. Tuna deal na nyinyi sai. Hakuna huruma, hakuna huruma. Kesho na wapostia video muone tena ile tabia wanafanya. Mtu anajivuta anaiba sigara ya Mwarabu anavuta kwa nyumba anapuliza nyumba mzima. Eh, wameamua kuchoma jina, wameharibia Kenya jina, wameharibia wa Kenya kazi, wameharibia wa Kenya CV kila mahali. Hawa malaya wachache wako hapa Gulf. Malaya nani wa mama si wasichana wa mama wazima wamekomaa badala ya kupatia wasichana advice hao ndio wanaongoza umalaya na abortion huku mmewaacha watoto wenu ni wakubwa wa wako secondary mnakuja kufanya umalaya na abortion za ujinga for goodness sake wasichana mko Saudi wa Kenya mustail up akim mustail up na nyinyi hata mnafanya life ya wa Kenya ikikuwa hadi uko na vitu mnajifanya nyinyi mkitoka Kenya mlikuwa mmandikisha agent like mnaenda kufanya kazi ya nyumba hamkuandikisha mnaenda kufanya umalaya huko mkose kulipwa muli mwanza kuuana huko mnatoa wapi hiyo dazidi ya kupeleka uko njistina warabuni inchi sio zenu sio zenu na hamuna mnajua hamuna akili mnajirekodi mkifanya mauaji and then mnasema ati mnifiche ati usinirekodi uso nyinyi wenyewe ni wajinga nyinyi si serial killers hamji venye wauaji nyinyi wenyewe si wauaji azini hata mjasomi hiyo kuua jumungekuwa na akili mungekumbuka fingerprints ziko mahali hata mungejirekodi na hizo masauti zenu mnapelekaje mawaji kwa nchi ya wenyewe and then mna post hizo vitu za ujinga wapi social media mkifikiria hiyo ni social media ya familia zenu peke yenu hiyo social media moja ndio ni warabu wako wanaangalia just imagine wakipatana na video kama hiyo mnafanya hizo vitu kwa nchi yenu na nyinyi ni wafanyikazi in fact nyinyi ni kemboi nyinyi ni watu mnatafuta mnata kama sijui nini kwa hiyo nchi unafikiria hao wengine wanapitia nini nyinyi nyinyi makemboi tafadhali kemboi wenye wako Saudi Arabia 
wengine siju mnajifanya aje wenyewe mnauana wenyewe kwa wenyewe mninyinya hata mnazidisha hizi vitu hizi vifo zenye zina happen za wakenya sana hamuna akili hamuyuza akili zenu mnauana mna post watu wanaona kila mahali alafu mnaanza hapa kulia ati sijui nini nini siju wanaua watu na ninyinyi wenyewe mnauana nyinyi wenyewe mmepeleka huko ujinga please watu mkitoka Kenya mki, before upande ndege ujue ni nini ulienda huko Saudi sio kuenda huko kupeleka huko ujinga enda fanya kazi ikikushinda pack vitu zako rudi kama uko na nguvu sana ya kutaka kuuana rudi uana kwenu huko free sio huko kwenu sasa ona hizi vitu mmejiingiza ndani kama wajinga mlienda huko huko wajinga ndo venye kuwa naona mko wajinga mimi naongea kama ex ex wa Saudi si hata sijakuja huko kufanya kazi niliyai kuja huko Mwache hizo ujinga zenye mnajifanya mna risk life ya watu wengine wanyu huko wako huko mnafanya tuna, watu wenyu wako huko wengine wamekaa wameogopa mnafanya vifo zikipanda juu wakiutulia waki wasichana juu ya nyinyi nyinyi kama msha make in life fanyeni kazi zenu zenye kwa mnafanya alafu mpak vitu zenu murudi mwache hiyo ujinga yenu ya umalaya na mkaandisha umalaya Kenya mkomeshe umalaya wenu huo mkiuana kawa wajinga hata mjeheshimu a good afternoon guys it's a sad afternoon like personally me as an innocent kenya sijafurahia hiyo video ni nana muona hiyo video wa kenya wakipiga mwarabu now my question is huyo mwanaume amefanya nini secondly huyo mwanaume alipata je location yenu thirdly the audacity the audacity with some of us mko na audacity ya kupiga mtu mkirekord mnampiga na nyundo mnampiga na mwiko mnafungua even private parts zake mnataka kuziexpose okay let me say it was a business wherever kama mnajiamini nyinyi ni majangili nyinyi ni majambazi mbona msionyeshe sura zenu mnakosea innocent kenyans kama sisi innocent kenyans wasichana wenye wako contract mnafikiria hiyo video iki explore wa kenya tutafanywa nini huku ndani you guys you have to be very careful it's so bad the boys in riyadh the boys in saudi i'm in shock mimi mimi hata sijui nakuja hapa ni record niseme nini nimeshtuka nimeshtuka na ninajua sijashtuka peke yangu after watching that video kwa nini nimeshtuka jua these two things one nimejiuliza where did humanity go kama hao ni wamama wamezaa nimeona kwa hiyo video wakitandika binadamu hivyo wanatandika ana bleed to make the matter worse wanamrusha kwa bafu who does that okay tuachane juu na humanity nimeshtuka juu ya under this musako yenye iko saudia makaidi waine wa, wa, wakafanya vile walifanya without thinking of these innocent kenyans who are working here wana record na wanasema unaju, utajua sisi ni wa Kenya. Mmeekelea jina Kenya hapo kwa hiyo video. Please. Hamkufikiria aku okay I don't know how many you are but kulikosa tu mmoja mwenye tabia wengine tunafanya vibaya. Mnafikiria mkenya mwenye akoriadhi ata survive na hii msako atembee huku nje aseme yeye ni mkenya. How? How? Oh my god. You people you've missed everything alafu to make the matter was mnajua you are kemboys hamna papers you are here illegally na mnajua tu mnajua tu you are here illegally na mnakuja mna rule hii inchi ni kama kwenu hata kwenu sidhani mnaweza fanya hivyo mlikuwa mnataka mjulikane mtabulikane wa Kenya ni magaidi sisi hatuko na nyinyi sijaiombea mtu vibaya but for this one i know that karma is coming for you sisi hatutabeba misaraba si yetu hatutakubeba mizigo mi, 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 si yetu i pray that mapolisi wa kidil wa deal na hizo fingerprint zenu mshikwa mrudisho if you are tired please go back to kenya wachana si tufanye kazi sisi we are very hard working we are not idol like you wauzaji wa nyanya and i'm not apologetic and i'm addressing you using my techno sinyi ni wauzaji wa nyanya wenye hawana akili utegema gira nyanya hizo si yenu sisi we are very hard working we are very busy working hatuna time ya nonsense please give us peace
Kembo is in Riyadh. You are now too much. You are now too much. Kama umechoka tafadhali yenda Kenya. Wacha kuharibia wale makembo wengine wengine jina. Please. Tika niti ya besa. Sawa. Hey. Kemboi ni hatari bwana. Ah, kemboi. <laughs> Ndio mna nanga watu wanauawa na nyinyi mka hapa mna mko na huruma o amuji ninyi alikuwa anafanya. Video imetoka hapa wamechapa jamaa eh wamempasua kichwa kabisa bwana. Wamempiga na mweka damu bado wanaendelea kumpika mawe. Eh? Eh? Na wao ndio wamempatia roskoko. Eh? Kemboi wamefanya kazi imekuwa ngumu. Kazi hazitoki. Mademu mmejiharibia kabisa. Mademu hakuna hata. Sasa hata visa hazitoki. Hebu ulizie mtu mwenye alienda sijui nini, alienda sijui ku, ku apply saa hii, akwambie. Jiwa Kemboi tu. Kemboi wamefanya saa hii msako imeshika kushika. Hakuna kutoka hadi uzuri, unazuri ukienda hapo. Kipatikana hivi direct nyumbani hakuna hadi cha oh, oh, saa hii. Eh. Alafu stamp yako inapigwa uuzi onekane hiyo gulf sijui miaka 3 ama miaka 5 ama ama itatu ama ni mbili uonekani uwezi apply tena kuja huko uwezi apply na uwezi enda US au enda Uganda Uganda nayo utapata pesa <laughs> Sasa hii ndio maana unasikianga sasa wanafanyanga hivi kembo ya kiuawa eh mnaanza kuchanga huko mkilia wewe oh, oh, mnachangia sijui familia yake sijui nini yeye mwenyewe hajali hata hiyo familia yake juu vitu anafanya huko unaona sasa hivi walipiga jamaa mwingine mpaka sijui yako ICU si ni juu ya ICU yako sasa hivi imagine wala ya kwa ICU sasa eh. alafu mnasema hata watu ni wazuri oh, kuna wazuri sijui nini kama mtu ametoka hapo nje anapiga malaya jo huyo ni mwizi Uyo ni mwizi bwana. Sasa sasa wanapiga hata waarabu wanawapiga angeta wanawaibia do. Kemboi wamekuwa hatari bwana. Eh? Sasa hii ukitembea ukitembea na panga na ukipata hiyo panga unaenda nayo Kenya. <laughs> na unafungwa. Ai. Sasa hii sasa mumekuwa hatari. Hata wasichana sasa hii umeharibia wasichana wote hakuna mtu anapata kazi. Wewe ukimaliza contract ukirudi shauri yako. Kurudi huko itakukalia ngumu. Sasa wewe jipange. Jipange kama ni miaka tano unamaliza ndio uende. Ama kama umejipanga vizuri enda nyumbani. Lakini kemboi nao wameharibu. Eh? Wamekunia kila mlango, wamekunia kila mlango. Sasa hii kila mlango iko na mavi tu. Kenya. What is really your problem? When you leave Kenya to go to foreign countries, what's your aim? What's your goal? What's your mission? I believe everyone goes abroad with a mission, with something he wants to achieve in life. Why am I talking about this? There is a video I've seen, a bad one, a very bad one at that. Kenya. A very bad one. Kenyans. Oh God. You know that video is so disturbing. You know I can't even post it on, on my on my TikTok because it's just so, it's something else. You get? Are you guys serious? Are you people? Okay, I'll watch But is that what took you to Saudi? Whatever that man did to you people in Saudi. Do you know what took you there? Aliwacheza, alichita, alifanya whatever he did, I don't know, to all you girls that you decided to collide and beat this man. You're beating someone in on their own country. Are you guys serious? Can you what is wrong with us? Why do we ever learn? And then you the people complaining Saudi they are killing us they are killing us tell me right now if they see that video what do you think let's use our mind let's use our brain that boy has been beaten thoroughly beaten with big women 
against the people's mother. Whatever that boy has done, does he deserve that kind of beating? You beat him like a thief? Like a criminal? What is wrong with us Kenyans? What's wrong with us? We go to foreign countries to work. You know, it's really sad and so painful seeing someone beating somebody in their own country and you went there to work. Reasons best known to them. Let me, let me, let, let me just allow you to see this. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What is wrong with Kenyans? Even if Saudi is denying them the visa. Hmm? Deny them. What kind of nonsense? Chamani. Chamani, Jamani, Jamani. Wa Kenya tuna shida gani sisi? Tuna shida gani tulikosea wapi kabisa? Tukosea wapi? I don't get it. It is not fair. It's high time we change. It's high time we we call ourselves in a meeting. Something is wrong somewhere. Something is going wrong. I, I've heard they're being watanyongwa. Munyongwe tu. Ah ah. What kind of rubbish? Natuarabia jina michafoma jina zitu kila mahali. Like serious. Let me allow you to watch this video. But I can't pause the whole video because TikTok, I know TikTok is going to. It was a very sensitive video. So I just post a bit of it. Let's watch and then you tell me what you think. Saseni, I think by now most of you mwona hii video ya wama de mwa Kenya makemboi wa Saudi wakipige umu jama wa ntaku mkata makende umu arabu. Sijui kwa nini watu wengi wa nukongo. Muna tuanga hapi hii nguvu ya eni kazi na kushinda umetoroga kwa nyumba ya mdosi, mdosi na umefika uko inje wewe ni maa. Unajua ba saizi place mbo tumefika saizi Kenya after Nigeria ni Kenya. Last where sasa hizi tunarankiwa Just the other day hapa mlisikia Sa hizi ya wasichana wa Kenya wachukulika Biza Saudi Arabia So the innocent wametaka kuenda kufanya kazi huko Sincerely wa support families Watafanya nini kama hawa makemboyo wamechomea Kwa Kenya hivi completely You can hear this And hawa madem paka naonge kiswa hini Paka there is at that point wana tajajina Kenya So you can imagine sa hizi place ambotu na hivi Hii video na circulate imefika everywhere You know kama huna wewe nitafute nitakutumia imefika everywhere hii video like do you think kama demu pale ambao wako na huku intelligence ya huku hao arabu wako na intelligence kujuu sana kushikwa ni hivi ip address place ambayo hiyo video ilikuwa uploaded hao madem wote washikwa na hao wakishikwa be rest assured hakuna mtu hata mmoja hapa anarudi Kenya alive ko wote ni kunyongo hao so you can imagine what shit you are putting others for the sake of I don't know like someone in view, someone in jinga, I'm a now what to continue mama to the wife. Ukona familia, ukona watoto, macha home, ukona bwana bibi, ma your extended family, macha home, then una kuja kufanya ujinga. Ukoma umechoka, so you play the deportation. Upele urudishwe home. Sasa hii hii ni nonsense gani wa Kenya seriously tunafanya? Kwa sababu unashindota ku understand. Hata kama amefanya nini huyu mtu hata kama ame rap or nini Munge mwa kama mwenye action mwenye chukua, mwenye chukua yu action yenu, stop recording, hiyo ndo ujinga wengi, wetu tunakuanga nae, wa Kenya sivi nini tufanyanga, una record kitu, alakisha una post, then to make it worse, uyu ni mloko, leo ya fikiri wanaume wawo, wakiwana hii kitu ambwe na penafa saizi, yata watafanya nini, wataza kuriaktaje na hawa, na wakiambo, wetu wanafanya kazi huko, watu wawo, wakiwana hivu, wanaume wawo, wane, ee, ani, wanawake, sikuizu, wamejeweko, wanaume, wanapigia, warabu, hata hawa, wataza kuriakt, wataza kurevenge, na hawa, wanyo, wanafanya kazi za nyumba, pia, hebu, imiambia, sa, wadusi wawo, wanawangaliaje, sasa, which kind of eye, wanyo, wanapati hawa, sana hawa, wanyo, wanafanya kazi, nyumba, so, wanawana, tu, wote, tu, nisemu na hawa, wanawake, wanyo, wako, wanapigia, wanaume, so, guys Ladies, kama umechoka kufanya kazi, jipeleke deportation kama we ni kemboi, urudishwe home. Iu jinga mbutu nafanya huku nje, tunachomi watu wengine wenye wako, wenye watakuja badai, wenye... Guys, it's so sad, it's so heartbreaking. Kama wuna hii video kunitafute tu ni kuingbox, sabu nipo nikieka hapa na ita... Ita community guideline, ita 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 block. But this was a very very bad decision, this was very very sad of Kenya. Yo, ni aje wa Kenya. So, full video na raw video kama mnataka kuona real images za hawa watu wenye wanajaribu kuua Mwarabu, mwingie Telegram truthwatch.ro. Hapo ndio tumeka video raw. Okay? Hapa tumeblock kwa sababu ya nini? Kwa sababu of course ya you know, 
community guidelines and uh, zenye zimepangwa pale Kenya man. Yeah,